Let's jump into the uh, navigation a little bit and just talk a little bit about how to get around on BTV. All right, first thing you find is you got this big conspicuous screen in the middle. This is your audition edit screen. Anytime you're gonna audition a pattern or audition a kid or an instrument or a song or edit any one of those things, then uh, you're gonna find all your feedback in the screen. And this also includes the master volume. Um, to the left of the screen, you'll see the mode section. And this is how you basically change modes in BTV. You can go from song mode to pattern mode to kit mode to instrument mode. The only mode that you wouldn't find in this section would be the sample mode, which is down below. Um, the sample mode is basically its own little piece or basically its own little section. So this is where you'll create samples. This is where you'll edit samples. This is where, you, where you'll actually make digital recordings of sounds in the sample section. Think of it like this. When you take samples, you can arrange those samples into kits or instruments. And then you can take those kits or instruments and arrange those into patterns. Then you can arrange your patterns into songs. So this is a quick and easy way to um, basically have an idea, create sounds, create kits, create patterns, create songs, create full arrangements. All right, so under here, right under the audition edit screen, you'll see not only the pitch and mod controls, which you can change your pitch, change your modulation on the, on the fly, you know, just like that. But right below that, you're gonna also see your function section. So these are all the commonly used functions on BTV. You have edit, save, exit, undo, insert, copy, delete, export, system, and then you can control your volumes with uh, your volume screen. And anytime you wanna get out of something, you can hit your exit key. Exit key is not only found in the audition edit window, but also directly under the, the window as well. Um, so these are all dedicated buttons and one thing you'll notice about BTV is that there are no shifts, no holds, no control holds. Every button is dedicated so all your most popular functions are going to show up hard coded with buttons and in the audition edit window you'll also see any functions that you'll need that will pertain to that particular mode. So moving on down you'll see the transport section which pretty much is your average trans transport section, return to zero, go back a bar, go forward a bar, record, play, and stop. And then you have the track buttons. These are how you exit, or these are how you edit different tracks on BTV. You can go immediately to the track and you can see the element or the kit or the instrument that you have on that track and then you can edit that. On the right, you'll have the uh, through button, which will allow you to send signal through BTV or not. And you have your mixer section. You can mute and solo tracks. You can bank up and down to get up to eight octaves of control out of any kit or instrument that you have assigned. And then you also have a mixer button, which takes you to a mixer where you can mix all your tracks. You can control level, you can control pan, you can control your effect sends, and uh, you can also get into some EQ on your mixer. Below that, then you'll also see big pads, and I'm accessing those pads by using my mouse to click on them, but you also have control of those pads from the front panel through your QWERTY keyboard. And if you want some more control, then you will get from the keyboard, you want more velocity control, you want more octaves simultaneously, then uh, we have plug and play capability. So you can just plug up your external pad controller or plug up your external keyboard controller and uh, you have control of all those parameters also. So that is the front panel of BTV.